Hey, this is Mike from Schaefer Chevrolet, helping you put a face to the name. We're looking at this 2008 Dodge Ram. It's got about 219,000 miles on it. So let's get started. Let's check this thing out. All right, keep in mind, it's a 14-year-old truck. It's got almost a quarter of a million miles on it, so it's not gonna be perfect. Like I said in the pictures, you know, you got the, wheel, the rust along the wheel wells here. inside where the truck bed is it's not too bad I'm gonna talk about them tires here in a second it's like your bed rails coming loose bottom of the tailgate's pretty rusty as you can see uh, you got a dent in the passenger side rear bumper Got a plastic drop in bed liner. Uh, roll up tonneau cover. Tonneau cover doesn't seem to be in too bad of a shape. This side's coming loose again. Double sided tape will fix that for you. Coming around to the passenger side again, you got rust on the wheel well here. Cab corners, not in that bad a shape, to be honest. Back seat of the interior. In pretty good shape. Any vehicle over 10 years of age, over 100,000 miles would be an as-is vehicle. Looks like you got some cigarette burns in the passenger seat here. I don't smell a strong cigarette odor to it. I'm a non-smoker, so I can pick up pretty well. Um, I, yeah, I don't even smell even a little bit to be honest Check out the rockers on the side Rockers are in too bad of shape it's The bottom of the door here that's starting to rust more so than the rockers. You got a little bit right in here, but not not too bad. The frame itself, frame looks to be in good shape. I don't see any cracks or chips in the windshield. We do have a grill, some slats in the grill that are missing. Some rust on the front bumper. Coming around to the driver's side. A little bit of a rip in the seat. It's kind of to be expected there. Even my vehicle's newer and less miles, it has that rip in the seat. Jumping in and out of it. Um, let's check out these rockers real quick. A little bit of rust. Not terrible. Bottom of the driver's side door. Air conditioning works. Okay, like I said, I was gonna talk about those tires. When I drove, it's got 
some pretty beefy tires on there. A lot of tread left. There is a low tire pressure sensor on in the truck. That orange light right there. So when I was driving it, when I got up to 60 miles an hour, it shook pretty good, like a shutter. Like you're holding on to the steering wheel and it's shuddering like that. So I'm thinking the wheels are off balance or not inflated properly. This one looks like it could use some air in it. Um, my air pump's all closed up for the day right now. I can uh, put air in them tomorrow and check them out, take for another ride. See if I can shut the AC off so that fan's not blowing. Uh, I don't know if it'll shut off or not. You can hear that or not, but it does have a little bit up oh, there kicked off, fan kicked off, so we might be able to hear it a little better. Kind of has a little bit of a lift or tick to it. Can air filter on it that looks like it needed to be replaced about four years ago. Other than that, um, probably could use an alignment. Had a little bit of a pull to the left. I think the tick, that ticking, is more coming so from the bottom. Maybe that might be a, an exhaust tick. I'm not too sure. Aftermarket trailer brake controller. Um, got an aftermarket stereo in here which is pretty cool you put it in reverse and it brings up a uh, some sensors guide or whatnot or maybe the camera is supposed to be showing and it's not working I'm not too sure uh, it's got navigation in here thing I didn't try out was the four high and four low and I can do that tomorrow uh, I think my manager's starting to leave here in a minute so I'll check that out for you uh, another thing is all of our used vehicles come with this acid etching on all the windows what that'll do for you is if your vehicle's ever lost stolen unrecovered or recovered and brought back damaged or vandalized you'll receive up to five thousand towards the purchase of a new vehicle upon what your insurance company will pay out and then if you go through like Progressive or Geico, Auto Owners, eSurance, they offer a discount for having that on there. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a lifter tick up top and it sounds like it's got a little bit of an exhaust leak coming from underneath. Um, seemed to shift well but you know it's it's gonna need some work here like I said at the start of this video it's a 14 year old truck with 220,000 miles on it so depending on what you need it for it might be good for you might not if you need any other information you'll be able to reach me at 989-412-3257 Again, Mike from Schaefer Chevrolet, thanks for watching.